Hi everyone, welcome back for another painting tutorial. Today we're working on a black canvas. This is really beginner friendly, so we're only gonna be using two colors. You're gonna need any white of your choice. However, I'm using titanium white, and you're also gonna need some quinacridone magenta or any magenta that you want. These are both by Liquitex Basics Acrylics. I'll have a link below for these colors I'm using as well. So the first thing you want to do is choose the canvas that you want to paint on. I've got a 9 by 12. You can paint this on any size or shape canvas that you want. Keep in mind proportions um, will change and alter um, your painting a, a little bit. So if you want it to be exactly like this, then I suggest using a 9 by 12 canvas. I'm just going to lock my canvas in my easel and then we'll begin this painting. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure your canvas is black. You can pre-paint um, your canvas black like I have. I applied two coats, let it dry, and you can also purchase black primed canvases already. There's also black gesso that you can use. Whatever you decide to do is just fine as long as you're using a black canvas. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my quinacridone magenta and I'm just gonna directly place <laughs> some paint onto the canvas. I'm going to um, take a large filbert brush here. You can use any large brush that you want. And I'm just going to pull this over top of most of the canvas. So most of the paint I'm gonna have inside and we're just going to kind of leave if you want you can just paint a big rectangle with the magenta okay and then you can leave the outer edges all black that will frame it in nicely and give it a beautiful vignette um, going from dark to light towards the center I'm just going to apply a little bit more. I want to make sure that I've got enough paint on here to work with. Now, once you paint along with me to this one, you can try this and experiment using any other color you want. If you're not sure and would like some ideas, I just finished up one that I added to my channel called the Emerald Pools. It's all in, well, obviously emerald, like beautiful greens. I've got blue and white, I've got black and white, I've got uh, sepia, like brown and white. I've got so many here for you guys. So have fun looking through and painting along. So the next step is making sure that you add some white now with a mop brush before this can dry. I've got a mop brush here. You can use any size you want or shape. This one happens to be an oval, that doesn't matter. And it is one inch if you're curious. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna use my lid right here. A little bit of white. You see, I don't have a ton of paint on my brush. You just wanna load a little bit on the end of your brush so you don't lose that shape. And I'm just gonna start pushing and tapping. Right into that magenta. And leave a few spaces here and there. And then add some brighter highlights. Then just simply Get a little bit more white on the bottom, pull and drop, and then just dust back and forth, side to side, a little bit like that. 
and pull and sweep. You can even go right over that little bush right there, making it appear kind of see-through. And then add a few more highlights. So this creates different shades of the magenta and the pink. Show. And I'm going to use my number two rigger brush, a little bit of water on my brush, and a little bit of white, or well, it's like a light pink now. And I'm just going to add a few branches in here, just little wiggles and squiggles, don't overthink it. And look at how it kind of just goes right through that white and pink and you get sometimes more pink, more magenta. And that's how wonderful it is to paint and blend off of wet paint like this. You can just do so much with it. I'm just going to take my pinky here and add a little sun right at the top. my number three round brush and I'm going to soften around the edges a continuous brush stroke going around and around and then another quick little dab of white now I know I said that this was a sun but I think it looks more like nightscape. It's looking more and more like a moon. And I'm going to add a few little stars before I call this one done. When I said this one was quick and simple, I wasn't lying. <laughs> you guys can all do this. It doesn't have to take hours and years of schooling and classes to be able to paint this way. Um, believe me, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask one down below or connect with me one-on-one -on, -one on Patreon. However, we're not quite finished this one yet. I've got one last uh, step and I just use these little toothbrushes. You can get a four pack for a dollar at your local dollar store. And I use this to create a spray. So you wanna make sure you just get a little bit of water on your brush and then just kind of scrub it into the color you want for your stars. Uh, I use this technique and method for painting snow as well, um, but I'm just going to use a little bit of a spray here for some stars. So just a little bit like this, just kind of around the top there. And this painting is all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more if you enjoy my painting tutorials and ideas. I'd love to have you join our family here on YouTube as well as Patreon. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye everybody.